Happy, what's, oh my God, it's Monday again. Happy Monday to you, happy Monday to you. Happy Monday to you. I hope you're having a great day. Hi guys, it's April from MamaLovesFood.com and DinnerHero.com. How are you? Y'all look gorgeous, well rested. I'm so jealous. Um, hi. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hi, Mom. Hi, Meredith. How are you? How are you? How are you? So it's Monday again. That happened. Linda's a 10. I love it. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Luann. Uh, good morning, Rhonda. I'm like a four. I'm not gonna lie. I got a terrible night's sleep. And I woke up with a super sour stomach, which is probably why I got a terrible night's sleep. Um, I'm not in a bad mood. I just physically feel, ugh. So, that's fun. But, good morning from the Bronx. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Tony and Rosie. Rosie's an eight. So, yeah, leave your mental health number in the comments. One is low, ten is high. Let me know how you're feeling. Um, yeah, my stomach just really hurts today. So, I don't know. Otherwise, I feel fine, but... Yeah, you know, a sour stomach can just like mess up your, just mess up everything. <laughs> Good morning, Andrea from Michigan. Karen's a two because I didn't sleep. Ugh, I didn't sleep last night either. And then I woke up this morning, like I jolted when my alarm clock went off, thinking like I had to be somewhere or do something right away. And I mean, I didn't. I mean, I got up and, you know, got ready for work, but I don't know. It's very strange. Anyway. Um, Facebook is not being very cooperative today, so let me know if you guys are having trouble hearing me or if we're getting glitchy. I don't know that there's anything I can do about it, but it is good for me to know. Good morning, Darla. Thank or Marla. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope so, too. Good morning, Deanna. She's, Deanna's an eight. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Robin. I can see you. Uh, good morning, Rhonda. Rhonda didn't sleep well either. Rhonda needs a new mattress. It is kind of amazing how a mattress can really just change your life, right? Um, my mattress is okay. It's not, I don't know. I don't know that I'd buy it again, but it's it's okay. It needs rotating like pretty, free. it's a foam mattress, which I like because it's on the firm side and I like a firm mattress, but um, Sorry, I'm just trying to get Facebook to cooperate. Um, but I feel like if I sleep on it more than like three months, I get a, a indentation where I sleep. So then I have to rotate it. And, and then it's good for like another three months. And then, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's not amazing, it's, but I can't, I can't see replacing it at this point, right? What kind of mattresses do you guys have? Do you have like the foam ones or do you have the, um, the traditional spring? Ours, um, came, it was crazy. So it's a king size mattress and it came in this tube that was like, oh my gosh, it was just, it was tiny. It was bizarro. And it was circle wrapped and then folded in half. And then you opened it up and it went. And over the course of like 24 hours, it became a real mattress. It was bizarro. <laughs> but it worked. It worked. And it's, you know, it is what it is. Karen says, I definitely wouldn't get my mattress again. Mattress firm doesn't have very good beds. Oh, I've actually, our, our old bed, which is a queen and we had upgraded from it, was from Mattress Firm and I liked it. Um, I'm sure they have a lot of different beds, right? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Good morning, Andrea. Linda has a sleep number bed. Ooh, do you like it? I've always wondered about those. Hi, Peggy. Uh, Andrea says, I got woke up from the dogs wanting to go outside. Mine does that, too. She's fun like that. Mine was a memory then. I don't know, is it, I, I don't know, would you call it memory foam? Like, it's foam, but it's not, like, memory foam brand. I, I don't know. Linda loves her sleep number. Rhonda says it's traditional. I've had it for 10 years. Yeah, our one before, the one from uh, Mattress Barn, I think it was, um, was many, many years old. 
totally due for a new one. Although, honestly, this one's probably... Well, I got it when I was pregnant with Nicholas, so it's six years old. So it's not super new now either. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Gemma. How is everyone today? Don't forget to put your mental health number in the comments. Let us know how you're doing today. One is low, ten is high. Marla, there is no need to be embarrassed. Mattresses are expensive and a giant pain. And I don't know about you guys, but I get so much anxiety ordering a mattress. Like, so much. Because even though they have those, you know, a lot of them have like a 30-day money back, whatever. The thought of dealing with a mattress return just is too much stress for me. I don't, like, I feel like a mattress would, this is so silly too, right? Because you spend like a third of your life on your mattress. So you should absolutely make sure it's, it's exactly what you need. But, but for me, I find that I think I would have to be, have a really terrible mattress before I sent it back because, oh, just what a pain. Stephanie's a four. Guys, make sure if you see someone lower than a um, five that you reach out to them. Let them know uh, you're thinking of them and hope that you feel bad and whatever. Carrie says, my first grown up water bed was a water bed. Feel free to judge. I'm not judging. You do you. If you like a water bed, that's awesome. I will tell you something about a water bed. It's um, not a place where uh, two young lovers should um, explore for the first time very awkward. I mean, it's always awkward, but especially awkward. Just FYI. <laughs> Speaking for a friend. Uh, Andrew says, maybe a six, not feeling the best. I'm sorry. Tony says, I agree. I can't imagine the return process, right? Like that, I just, like, I can't wrap my head around the return process. So, yeah, I don't know. Should we talk about links? Links, 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 links. Karen, that's a good question. I don't know. Do they still make water beds? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, first, oh, sugar bugger. You guys, I put the wrong links in all the shares. That's annoying. Okay, well, whatever. It's done. What's done is done. What's done is done. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll put the right links in the comments. Okay, recipe of the day is our pizza dough recipe inspired by last night. Josie, <laughs> Carrie says, similar experience with my waterbed. It's just, it's, there's nothing uh, graceful about it. There's just not. You would think otherwise because water, right? But no, it's not the case. Okay. Recipe of the day is our, uh, Andrea, I love that. Our recipe of the day is our pizza dough recipe inspired by Josie last night who absolutely absolutely would not take no for an answer had to had to had to had to have personal pizzas so I acquiesced and we made uh, personal pizzas for all the kids they got to top them themselves they had a good time they enjoyed it and I'm not gonna lie I gave them to them and then I snuck away on a walk with a girlfriend <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but they came out really good and that's our recipe for, uh, pizza dough. It's real easy. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. I also sometimes use the Just Add Water packets and I talk about them in my Dinner Hero book. I love them. They're great. So use that recipe or don't. I won't judge you. I'm not interested in judging people. Liliana says, my mother-in-law had one before we moved in and she never had taken it out for like 10 years. Not a pretty sight. Oh, yeah, no, especially because those things are like so kind of affixed. You can't really clean under them very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know, whatever. All right, next is a uh, Amazon link. This is for swim fins. My dad bought all my kids a pair of, or sent all my kids a pair of swim fins. You guys, they are so happy about it. They're a whole bunch of little mermaids and merboys in the pool now. Um, they have like huge, huge, huge hit. So uh, if you're looking for a fun summer thing and you have access to a pool or lake or ocean, my kids are absolutely loving, loving, loving these swim fins. These are the exact ones we order. They have them in several different colors. I can't say enough good things about them. They're having a great time. April, random question. How many kids did you always want versus how many you had? Okay. I had, or I wanted, when Wes and I got married, I wanted six kids. Uh, we compromised, he wanted two, we compromised on four, 
and I got five. <laughs> so, uh, fifth was not a surprise, but also not super planned. So we thought we were done at four. I still wanted a fifth, but I, I wasn't like pushy about it or anything. You know, I was, it was the deal we made and, and it was fine. And then we became friends with this family who had, um, five kids and they were just wonderful, wonderful, lovely, fantastic. Uh, and we fell in love with them and spent a lot of time with them. And Wes was kind of like, well, we love the Perkins and their family works so nicely. And they had, they had, uh, four boys and one girl. We had three boys and one girl at the time. And so Wes was like, maybe we can just not be so careful. You guys, we got pregnant like 10 seconds later, which we were very much not expecting because my daughter, who was the fourth, we had to use um, fertility drugs <laughs> to conceive. So, uh, yeah, that's how that happened, which, you know, whatever. fun times. Uh, what he didn't know, though, and I will say I did withhold this information. And I don't feel bad about it. Um, their fifth was actually a post vasectomy baby and not intentional. <laughs> Obviously, they adore her and love her and would never, you know, um, you know, not they, like they're very happy with their family. But but I was I didn't really want to let that information. So, mm -hmm. He might change his mind. But anyway. <laughs> So yeah, that's how we ended up with five kids. Andrea, I, I shit you not, it was like, it was like 10 seconds later. It was ridiculous. It was so fast. It was so fast. It was like that sperm was like, guys, guys, there's like a window and it's so small. Get it done. <laughs> Which was never the experience for us before. So that was kind of funny. I know I, it looks from the outside like I'm the most fertile person in the world, but I can assure you I am not. <laughs> anyway, okay. Next link. My 13-year-old is um, obsessed with magic tricks. Like, so obsessed with magic tricks. And specifically, um, card tricks. Not only card tricks, but, but mostly card tricks. He's very, very, very into card tricks right now. And, um, so I got him this magic deck and he just, uh, just last week and he loves it. I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't understand how it works. Well, Carrie says waterbed babies. No, no waterbed babies. <laughs> um, so what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Yeah. This deck. I don't know how it works. It looks like a regular card deck to me. I can't tell the difference, but apparently there's something very special about it. Um, think it has to do with the texture of it or something I don't know anyway he thinks it's the best thing ever he has learned some really 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 cool card tricks from it um yeah anyway if you're into if your kids are into magic or you're into magic I very very highly recommend this magic card deck so those are my links links today um this is not the most flattering shirt but I like it it says oh snap and it's a gator because I live in Florida Okay, here's a question, you guys. Hello, Dottie. How are you? Ooh, there's hair. I feel like I'm always just pulling hair off myself. Um, so, so much hair. So, you see I've got a v-neck today? Did not start as a v-neck. I'm just curious, you guys. Do you have a preferred neck style on shirts? I hate regular t-shirt necks. They make me feel very constricted in the neck area in a not comfortable way and um so I always either cut the collars out thank you Terry I always either cut the collars out or notch it I have to have to have to have a um v-neck or a scoop neck I'm super cute I'm super cute I'm <laughs> reading the comments I'm uh I'm so I'm super curious do you guys feel that way so I said this in a in a, a group text once recently and it was with there's six six of us in the group text I did make the V yeah Linda I just notched it out um I I so I, I mentioned this in a, in a group text with five girlfriends and uh, that I absolutely don't I can't wear and be physically comfortable in most regular t-shirt necks and four of the girls were like what 
what is that even? What are you kidding me? And then one of the girls was like, oh, same, I can't do it. I don't have any, I can't, 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 can't. So I'm just curious if there's other people like me out there. Uh, all my shirts are either scoop neck or V neck. And if they're not, then I, I do this kind of thing to them. <laughs> just a thing. I don't know. It doesn't always work nicely. Sometimes I screw it up, but I wear them anyway, usually. Oh God, you guys, my stomach hurts so bad. Somebody asked what part of Florida I'm from. I am in central Florida. About an hour northeast-ish of Disney. Linda says I don't like crew neck. Is crew neck, is crew neck the regular t-shirt? I think that's what it is. So yeah, I like a boat neck. I love a boat neck. So that's nice and wide. It's almost like a, a almond shape. I like a scoop neck, which is like a much bigger scoop. And I love a deep V. Mom says nothing high up on my neck. I must get it from you. It must be genetic then. Robin says totally same totes the same. Okay. My questions today aren't as interesting as, uh, Laura says, I'm weird about my neckline on shirts. Don't like them too high or too low. I'm going to admit there's no such thing as a neckline that's too low for me. I mean, I've definitely been caught boobs out before by accident because my shirt is like, oh, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Boobs are boobs. Um, Carolyn says, same, I have to have a V-neck or a screw. I feel like I'm being strangled with a regular neck, right? I don't, like, it's so weird. Because it's not actually, like, on your neck or near it. But, it, oh, it just, I hate the feeling. Okay. So my questions are not as fun as last week. Last week we had some great, um, question. Gemma, absolutely post, go, feel free to post pictures of your pup in the, um, in the community group. We'd love to see it. We share all that kind of stuff over there. Um, good morning, Miss Michelle. All right. Okay. I already told you I have a sour stomach. I just wanted to complain about that for a minute. So I did put it on my list, <laughs> but also I'd like to know, do you guys have any good remedies to, do you guys have any good remedies for a sour stomach? I don't have any ginger ale. I'm not sure what else to do. I don't even think I have any ginger. Good morning, Miss Christina. Karen doesn't like her chest showing. Yeah. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. Um, Okay, today's first question is, if you could play any instrument, what one would it be? I think, what's a community group? What? Are you not in our community group? We have an awesome community group on Facebook that we would love to have you join. I'm going to put a link to it in the comments. There you go. It's right there. Join up. Join up. Um, Deanna says apple juice. Linda says alkal alkaline seltzer. I don't think I have any alkaline seltzer. I have, I have, um, club soda. Do you think that would help? Jamie says saxophone. Monica says guitar. Amanda says saxophone. Tony says piano. So I play piano a little bit. I think it would. So I'm, I'm like inclined to say piano as my first, um, uh, I just love piano music. I literally listen to piano music all day. Um, so Robin, I actually find that gum makes it worse for me. I think I swallow air when I chew gum, which oof, not a good, not a good, not a good look for me. <laughs> um, but then I was thinking, while I love the piano, love, love, love it. It would also be really nice to be able to play an instrument that you could bring around with you, right? Like, you're not going to play a piano around a campfire. You're not going to play a piano, you know, you're not going to bring a piano on vacation. So I'm thinking, like, either acoustic guitar or ukulele or, I don't know. If you play the guitar, does it mean you know how to play the ukulele? I don't know. This is how little I know about these things. So I'm going to go with, I love the piano, and that's my very favorite to listen to, but I think if I could learn any instrument, it would be the guitar so that I could... Just there's more ability to use that talent, you know, with friends and whatnot. So that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. I'm going to go with hard candy. Oh, I probably have some of that. Um, oh, Tony says, I had a tummy ulcer. My uh, doctor advised me to stay away from gum because the air intake. Yeah, I have a really hard time with that. I do. A voice like pink. Oh, she's got a beautiful voice. I like that. Yeah, something travel size. 
The harmonica's fun. I like that. Harmonica's fun. Oh, the banjo is cool. I actually really like banjo, the way it sounds. But I think, isn't the banjo basically just a guitar or a ukulele with a different shape, so it gives it a different sound? I don't know. All right. Keep telling me. Keep telling me. Keep commenting. Okay. You guys, I can't read my own handwriting. You gotta ask Shane how to play. So my kids are actually teaching themselves. I am bribing my children. My my kids play the piano already. Um, and I, I decided I really wanted my kids to um, uh, learn how to play another instrument. So my oldest son has been teaching himself to play the guitar for a few years now, and he's he's gotten pretty good. And I wanted my other ones to learn an instrument too, and they were all interested in the ukulele. So I bought a ukulele and I bribed them each a dollar a day to practice ukulele. And uh, I think they're getting pretty decent at it. It's not They're not perfect, but they all know a few chords and um, yeah. Uh, Gemma says also play the drums. Drums are fun. I feel like that would be really um, cathartic, right? Like get a lot out. Anyway. Okay, you guys, I can't read my handwriting. It says many slash night one. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Do you have a favorite word? Who has a favorite word? Okay, I don't have a, te I don't have a favorite word. So and I'm not even gonna really answer this question because I just don't have a favorite word. But I do have a word that pops into my head every time somebody asks me if I have a favorite word. And then I think about that word and I'm like, that's not my favorite word. Why do I care? Like, I, why, do, why does that pop in my head every single time? The word is turtle. I don't know why. Since I was a kid, if somebody asked me if I have a favorite word, I say, like, that turtle is the first thing that pops into my head. I don't, I don't know. Kelly's great. Terry, thanks for asking. She, um, she's on a different time zone, so she doesn't typically, um, make it in time for the morning shows, but she's awesome. She's great. Carrie says, my kids have lessons in piano, violin, drums, and guitar. I love that. I know. I'm 100% living vicariously through my kids through music because, um, yeah, I quit playing. I quit taking lessons when I was in middle school, and I played the piano, and I played the flute a little bit, and I stopped in, in I think it was like 7th or 8th grade, so I regret that. I regret that. Uh, Linda says, I would say, don't get pain to think. <laughs> Tony says, snickle fritz. Okay, that's a fun word. I, I like the word gobbledygook. That's a good one. I don't know why turtle always pops into my head. I mean, I don't even... Turtles are fine. I have literally nothing against turtles, but I also don't have any fantastic, like, love for them either. So, I don't know. Hi, Michelle. Where am I out of? I'm in Florida. Beth says sneezel. It's the specs on your computer screen from your sneeze. Oh, oh, I didn't need that word. I didn't need that visual. Ugh. Robin says, are you turtly enough for the turtle club? I don't know what that means. I don't think I am. <laughs> Karen says, not too late to start again. Yeah, I sit down and, and play a little bit. I'm just not. It's you know, I feel like it takes more time than I am willing to commit at this point in my life, and I recognize that. So I'm going to live vicariously through and enjoy listening to my kids play it. A friend of my mom, uh, a friend of mine's mom used to play, say, Snickle Fritz. I love it. Christina says, my son used to play bassoon and my daughter played the violin. Carrie says the F word. Oh, I do. If we're going to go by words I use the most, F word's up there. I like a good F bomb. I'm not gonna lie. I do. All right, last question. Last question of the day is: Do you have a favorite time of day? And I do have an answer for this. I have a favorite time of day, and I want to know what yours is. My favorite time of day is dinner time. Not making dinner. <laughs> Not in preparation of dinner. I mean, not that I hate making dinner, but we all know. Thank you, Andrea. Andrea likes my nail polish. Andrea says, say in sugar if you want to say bad words at time. I do that too. I say sugar booger. Sugar booger is the one I go to. Um, it's like when we're all sitting down together eating and specifically I love when we sit together and watch a show together and eat. I don't, I just really enjoy it. 
Um, and I and I also enjoy when we sit at the table together. Robin says it's Dana Car Carvey movie reference. Ah, I, I, that went over my head. Sorry. <laughs> Linda says morning and evening. So yeah, I just feel like it's the the work day is over. The stress of figuring out dinner is over, and we're all just able to enjoy each other's company. And I'm with my favorite people, and so it's dinner time for me is my absolute favorite time of day. So yeah, that's mine. Guys, you're awesome. I love you. Tony says, early morning. I feel like I'm freshest in the morning. That's when I have my quiet time. Linda says, I watched The Healer. Good movie. Oh, I'll check it out. Deanna says, 10 a.m. Carrie says, sleep. <laughs> Rhonda says, early in the morning. Mom says, my time. Beth says, 11 p.m. If I missed you, I'm sorry. It's not intentional. Monica says, before bedtime. Good morning, Elaine. Christina says, 5 a.m. I love it when no one's awake to be asking for my time. Andrew says, I've been taking baths recently, so bath time. I do love a good bath. I have a bad habit of, our bathtub is weirdly well insulated. Like, I don't, it retains heat for a very long time. So I have been known to fill my bathtub up and sit in it for like three solid hours. Which I love, but also, that's a lot of time. <laughs> All right, guys, you're amazing. I love you. Thank you. You have definitely brought me up to a five. My stomach is still sour, but you've put me in a much better mood. So thank you for that. I appreciate you. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope your Monday isn't too Monday. And um, a few of you said you had not did not know that we have a community group. So I'm going to pop the comments. I'm going to pop the blue. I'm going to pop the link into the comments real quick. If you'd like to hop over and join, we'd love to have you there. Um, you're welcome to post whatever you like in there. It's, a, you know, primarily food just because it's coming from a, a food page, but um, we're happy to talk about whatever you want. So you guys have a great day.